The Rochester police officer working the undercover detail with Officer Anthony Mazorkowitz during a deadly ambush last July, taking the stand today in the murder trial of Kelvin Vickers. Mazorkowitz was killed, and Officer Sino Sang was seriously injured in that shooting. 13 Wham's Jackie Napier was in the courtroom and breaks down Officer Sang's testimony for us. Jackie. That's right, Karen, good evening. The officer was packed as Officer Sang, for the first time publicly, spoke about the night he and Officer Mazurkowitz were ambushed on Bauman Street while conducting surveillance. A nonstop barrage of bullets. That's how Officer Sino Sang described the moment his undercover vehicle was ambushed. Sang and Mazurkowitz were surveilling 52 Laser Street, attempting to learn more about a double homicide that occurred the day before. Sang testified they were watching a group of men on the porch when he and Mazurkowitz realized their cover had been blown. While determining what their next step should be, Sang said he heard gunfire and realized the van was being penetrated from behind. The problem is that the officers, no one could ever say they saw any defendants or saw any guns or saw anything. So that's going to come out during closing too as to what they actually saw. Concerned the shooter might approach the front of the car and target his incapacitated partner, Sang exited the vehicle and attempted to return fire. In that moment, Sang, in a state of shock and excruciating pain from being shot himself, radioed for assistance. During his testimony, Sang revealed he has persistent pain stemming from the shooting to this day. It has been a very emotional case for everyone involved. And again, that's something that we have to talk to Jerry about in closing to sort of set that aside and just focus on the facts and the law. Sang shared that while he's still a member of the Rochester Police Department, he is not yet back to fulfilling his normal duties. Prosecutor Sandra Dorley was not available for comment. Good evening, I'm Matt Malloy. Tensions were high at today's City Council public safety hearing over controversial comments made by three council members on a recent officer-involved shooting. More now from our Karen Edwards. And now we have people who are in leadership who are calling for police officers to have to second-guess themselves. Council members Stanley Martin, Mary Lupian, and Kim Smith continuing to face backlash at the latest public safety committee meeting following their controversial comments condemning the Rochester Police Department over the police shooting on First Street late last month. Shoot me. Shoot me. Their statement came just one day before RPD released the body camera video. Chief David Smith says the officer was ambushed, tackled, punched, and tased before the two fought over his weapon, leading to five rounds being fired and the suspect being injured. The three council members have stood by their statement, calling for transparency and accountability. Can you walk me through why it took so long for the body to access that footage? It clearly states that your access to the body and camera footage timeline is at my discretion. So as we are discussing this issue, it is not particularly about any one situation or any one police officer. It is the policies and the procedures that lead to the state of policing in our communities. Council members Willie Lightfoot and Michael Patterson, critical of their colleagues. I would just offer consideration that I've been having gun violence meetings for five years. Never once have you stepped to a gun violence meeting that I've had in these chambers to bring that energy about gun violence being a problem in our community. So that's 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 a bit it's, it's a bit insulting to be quite honest with you. Uh, but when when it's a police involved incident. There's all this energy. Y'all wouldn't have had this kind of energy if you've been an officer laying there dead. Vital funds for families in need vanished overnight in what appears to be a case of fraud. 13 Wands Andrew McBeth joining us now to explain what's being done for those who suddenly lost their food stamp benefits. Yes, Don, dozens of people filed into the social service offices on St. Paul Street and Westfall Road, all with a similar story. Their EBT cards had a balance of zero. On the day where most people get their deposits on their EBT cards, people across Rochester were shocked to find a zero balance. Someone allegedly took all of their funds instantly. It was $288.17, everything. 
The Monroe County Executive Office confirms it has received approximately 200 reports of scam-related benefit theft just this week. Alvin is one of the apparent victims. People are reporting hundreds of dollars lost in fraudulent charges, allegedly from credit card skimmers. The charges have been reported from companies the victims don't recognize, some of the charges taking place in other states. So this is some, some big time stuff. Somebody's getting over like a fat rat. <laughs> Monroe County says funds will be restored up to 72 hours after theft is confirmed. How are we supposed to deal with this and then not know what is what's supposed to go on? Are we going to receive our food stamps this week? Are we going to receive it next month? What's going to happen, you know? It's, it's stressful. It's stressful. As you can see, they had me on hold here for two hours and 45 minutes here on the phone. It's still there. So I came in person and they still got me on hold for two hours and 45 minutes. For now, people like Emerily are waiting for their funds to be restored after filling out the required paperwork. Because then we, we have to get money from our rent, you know? We have to find every other way, especially single mothers that don't work and they have to stay home because they have a disabled child. They have to find another way to get this money for their children so that way they can eat. That's, that's the problem, you know? Monroe County says benefit replacement applications have been expedited in response to the sudden spike in fraud reports. <laughs>